The aircraft, codenamed Cayman, Bo, minus 22, has been designed and developed in line with the Islamic Republic of Iran Air Force's requirements, IRAF Commander Brigadier General Aziz Nasirzad announced on Wednesday. It is outfitted with various types of combat equipment, including different kinds of smart ammunition, as well as diverse optical and electronic warfare equipment, he noted. According to the official, Cayman 22 can also endure airborne missions lasting longer than 24 hours. The aircraft will contribute a high combat capability to the Air Force, Nasirzad stated. The commander also credited the new UAV with reconnaissance, surveillance, and intelligence gathering features, including the capability to take pictures from distant targets. Today, we have attained complete maturity in production of various unmanned aircraft, including combat, reconnaissance, and electronic warfare drones that are capable of carrying out several different missions," Nasirzadeh noted. The Islamic Republic has developed the technologies that enable it to manufacture any type of drone in line with its needs, he said, announcing that the country has the production of various other kinds of UAV on its agenda. The Army's UAVs were put to test most recently last month. During the episode, the Army Air Force and Army Aviation fielded their advanced surveillance and reconnaissance unmanned aircraft across Makran, a sensitive stretch of the country's southeastern coastline. Iran surveillance, reconnaissance drones take center stage on second day of Army drills The Iranian Army fields its advanced surveillance and reconnaissance drones during maneuvers taking place across a sensitive coastal stretch. The drills were among as many as 10 back-to-back -back military exercises carried out by the Army and Iran's Islamic Revolution Guards Corps IRGC. Iran held 10 maneuvers in Trump's last two months. Military chief the Trump administration stepped up pressure on Iran in its final two months, engaging in provocative activities in the region. The forces were ordered to stage the drills in line with a relevant directive by leader of the Islamic Revolution Ayatollah Sayyid Ali Khamenei, and at a time when the United States and its regional allies had heightened their provocative maneuvering in the Persian Gulf region. The agreement was signed by the commander of the Islamic Republic of Iran Army Major General Abdulrahim Massavi and Defense Minister Brigadier General Amir Hatami on Monday. In the first phase of implementing the agreement, the ministry will deliver 1,000 modern unmanned aerial vehicles to the army in the near future. This agreement will play a key role in upgrading the quantity and quality of UAV power of the Army of the Islamic Republic of Iran and the Armed Forces, Masavi said. He emphasized that today UAVs have a very important role in various aspects of combat, adding, today Iran ranks fifth or sixth in the world considering its drone sector and we are self-sufficient in manufacturing the advanced drones we need. In relevant remarks in February, Commander of the Islamic Republic of Iran Air Force, Iriaf, Brigadier General Aziz Nasirzadeh stated that the country is capable of manufacturing different types of drones, adding that new drones are due to be produced in future. Today, we have reached full maturity and skills in building various types of drones used for combat, reconnaissance and electronic warfare missions. and we have developed the technologies needed for making various types of drones based on needs, and we have on agenda production of other types of drones in future," General Nasirzada said, visiting the Cayman 22 drone production project. Cayman 22 drone enjoys combat, optical and electronic warfare equipment, and is designed based on the operational requirements of the Air Force, and is in the final stages of production," he added.
Cayman 22 drone is the first wide-body combat drone in the country and is capable of carrying all types of cargoes with very high flight durability of more than 24 hours and a range of 3,000 kilometers, which has the ability to identify, monitor and collect information and images from distant targets. Carrying all kinds of smart ammunition, it will give the Air Force a high combat capability, General Masurzita said. Thank you.